going on this is a sparn and i've been using that intro ever since day one so i'm sure you're sick of hearing it anyway we're gonna be reviewing the scrapper today and it's a premium unit that costs 30 nanos from the junk vault also known as the mercenary vault where you can persuade silver wolves to work for you as if you would ever want that because they all pretty much suck anyway i have one of them and it's not the worst unit I've ever used and there sure have been worse but anyway I'm gonna show you all of its attacks right now and on these low level raiders put down one some things to draw attention uh, yeah that's about it so this guy has three attacks in total these are the first two that I'm showing you not bad damage but this guy is extremely limited due to only being able to hit the front the row directly in front of them so there's that i mean so are these units but again at least man well there really isn't much to say about silver wolf units in the first place I mean, I kind of wish we could get some of the advanced raiders that are silver wolves that they have. I totally get like 60 freaking wolf thunders and just troll the crap out of anyone in PvP until they spam their mammoths and I die. But who cares? It'll be worth it. Anyway, so those are the first two attacks. Not bad damage. One hits twice, one hits once. Not much to say. Now let's go back and change the attacks so I can show you the rest. I, I really think Z2 should make a way to organize these guys a bit easier. I mean, this helps and that, but... Okay, first let's get to the main topic. I really think that there should be an auto-collect, so I don't have to keep clicking collect my army just to get it back. It gets kind of tedious after a while. Anyway... Let me show you the third and final attack. Oh, and I don't exactly want to go back to my home base just to make a machete-wielding guy hit in a different pattern. That makes no sense. Small changes, Z2. Small details will get you through your work. So, again, second attack. This is first attack, I think. Basic sweep to the side. Decently low damage. But it seems to have no problem taking out level 10 raiders, which is great, especially since how late you actually unlock the mercenary vault. So, yeah. Again, I would not use them on anything. Just to show you how awesome this unit is, I'll show it off on some high rank silver wolves. Which are the kinds of guys you fight these days. Just as a precaution, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to win without doing this, but you never know. So, just as a precaution. Now, where's the scrapper? Right here. I'll shoot, and um, I'll use that attack later. Just going to spam my phalanx for now. Maybe I can get some decent kills. Alright, that worked pretty well. That would have been the end of my scrapper, but alright. Here's the attack, here's its most powerful attack on a 67 leveled silver wolf. Impressed, yeah. Anyway, I really do not recommend these units to anyone. So please, have the, unless you for some reason see the need to use them, just these are completely skippable units. Just don't do it. Save your nanos for something else. These two guys cost 30, the Devastator costs 40, that's 70 nanos right there, and 10 bars. Plenty of other things you can use that on. Like, for example, save up a few more, get yourself a mega tank. Save up a few more, get yourself a super tank. Get yourself a plasma tank. Anything besides this one hit wonder who nearly got one shotted. Let's see if I can actually kill this. Here, hold my beer. Alright. 
making good progress. Let's see if I can actually win it with a scrapper. Nope! But now I get to show you the healing cost. <laughs> so that's fantastic. Anyway. Alright, let's go to the healing cost. The scrapper at a rank 10 advanced hospital costs... Whoa, okay. Didn't this unit just used to, like, cost only time to repair? I think I said it in my previous video, I mean, in a previous take of this video, it would have been completely screwed over in the comments section. I could have sworn this thing used to only cost time, or was that, like, another unit? That's really awkward. Now it's apparently costs steel and gold, too, so... Yeah, let me just heal this thing, because I really hate that little thing above my hospital telling me I have crap to heal. That really bugs me. That, and I don't get why I have to collect my own hospital units. They should just be able to heal them. They should just be able to get out of the hospital on their own. They don't need me to hold their hand the whole way through. But yeah, let's go through the stats of this thing. And that'll be the end of the review. Or more of a end of me making fun of a nano unit. Anyway, my scrapper is at rank 1, has 210 hit points, 35 bravery, 55 defense. How is that guy with a machete braver than that other devastator with the bazooka? That just makes no sense. Well, I guess you gotta be pretty brave to freaking go Leroy Jenkins and charge a freaking fully armed group of silver wolves with a weird machete thing that looks cracked on the back. But either way, the blocking is partial, and it has infant ammo. The machete huh, does 80 to 120 crushing damage for cooldown of 2, 1 range. Contact line of fire, 56 offense, 20% armor piercing. The machete wah, does 59 to 72 crushing damage for cooldown of 2, 1 range. Contact line of fire, 56 offense, and 20% armor piercing. And... The Huwakacha, I cannot believe I'm actually pronouncing these. The 68 to 92 times 2 crushing damage for prep time of 1. Cool line of 3, 1 range, contact, line of fire, 56 offense, 10% base crit, and 20% armor piercing. So, yeah, this is a Spartan. My dog's trying to break into my room. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and goodbye.